All right, guys, what is up, YouTube? It is really good to see everyone, man, uh, in today's video, right? If you pretty much clicked on this video, you clicked on this video because you want to meet John, the guy who became a software engineer in two days. Now, this video about to see, you hear us talking about his life and his life as a junior software developer, having no experience, no portfolio, not even studying code prior to becoming a software engineer, right? And now, the part of the video where he talked about how he did it got cut off. Um, there was some static, and so you can't hear it clearly, so I didn't include in this video. But just to clearly talk about how he became an engineer really quick, he literally went to a job fair. Someone asked him if he knew code. He said no. But he, then the person asked, can you learn code? He said, yeah. And they said, all right, Monday you have an interview. So literally in two days, during Saturday, Sunday, he studied code all day. He learned how to make a function, do if-else statements, and et cetera, on a software language, not a web, not like PHP or JavaScript, but um, I, I forgot what it was, C plus or C sharp or something like that. He learned that in two days, got an interview, and he got a job. No coding experience whatsoever. So I hope this video will motivate you. And the session that you're about to see is literally just a session between John and I, which we decided to stream one day. And we do this on a weekly basis where he asked me questions about his life and my life and any tips on what he can do as a developer having no experience and learning everything on the fly at his job. He's just someone I mentor, one of the people I mentor throughout the week from people all around literally the world world and figured that you know i share this with you guys so hopefully this encourage you in this video we talk about you know the struggles we have he and i have as a developer in this video we talk about how why some people take longer to learn code and we talk about how sometimes people depend way too much on tutorials and why you need to move away from that too so if you want to see that i hope you enjoyed the video see you guys later yeah let's get on it I didn't go the traditional path. I definitely did not know everything when joining and I still don't know anything anywhere close to anything, everything. So I'm more looking out. I think I reached out to kind of figure out really what, how do you feel like when you don't really understand everything? Like I get these situations where people come over to me and like you said, they're like, oh, you're a software engineer. They yeah, my title is everything. software engineer. Yeah, yeah. They expect oh, me to know these answers yeah, and yeah. I'm like, Listen, I'm a new software engineer. That's literally what I tell them. But like, it gets to the point where, how do you cope with at a job? Yeah. When it's your job to know it, but you don't know it. I still, I still feel that to this day. Like literally, like mm -hmm. I still feel like I don't know anything, and I, uh, I still feel the exact same feeling. But I'm not gonna lie. What has given me a lot of confidence um, is um, meeting with my mentor. Not gonna lie. And, and my boss but i think that's what you get from your boss too because your boss doesn't give you the projects he's giving you because you can't do it he's giving you these projects because he wants you to be able to do it right and yeah. so i think more than anything is remembering why they hired you and i'll tell you this I, even to this day i still feel the same way but what keeps me going is this opportunity is in front of me i can either like keep like and i'm talking to myself complaining to myself or worrying Stressing myself out, Chris, you're not good enough. You're, you're going to lose your job soon. That's Chris, you got the job. You can do it. And I think that's what you have to remember, man. And so. Okay. And that's where I think one of the questions is, let's say I get that job. Now it's more of you're here to do the job. You're not here to learn the job. Where mm -hmm. my company right now is like you're here to do both. Um. Well, I'll tell you this. There, there are companies where you have to know the job, but you're mm -hmm. thinking too much. You don't even have the All job. Right. So why are you worrying about that? If you don't know it, then you won't get the job. Good point. But if you get the job, damn, I hate you. <laughs> Freaking, <laughs> you know, that, you know, um, you, you get paid more now at your current job than what I paid in my first job as a developer. And I put more time to study code than you did. So like, no, I'm not saying as I'm complaining, yeah. like your mm -hmm. opportunity is freaking amazing, man. So don't think too much. It's thinking, I'm not saying this is like you, but like it's, that kind of thinking that so many engineers have or aspiring developers have that prevent them from even applying. What if I get the job and what if I can't do it? Get the job first and then worry about that. You know what I mean? And if they hired yeah, you, no, then no, like they hired you knowing who you are, unless you really faked it. And that's stupid. You didn't fake it when mm -hmm. you got your interview for that job. You showed who you really were. I didn't fake it when I did my interviews. I showed them. I know nothing. Like I remember my <laughs> first, you know how embarrassing this was? The senior developer. At my first job, mm -hmm. he worked for NASA. He works for NASA now, and he works for his other company. He's like the god of that company because he's the best developer there. And my first day in a job, we were all hanging out. We had a dev meeting, and he asked me, "Chris, do you know JavaScript?" And I couldn't like, "No." Do you know um, uh, Drupal? No. PHP? No. Do you, have you worked with mustaches? 
No. What do you know? Do you know at least jQuery? Because that's what we work with. No. Uh, what do you know? I know some HTML, <laughs> some CSS. Yeah. And literally, I'm sitting next to him, right? Literally right next to him. And I'm studying teamtreehouse.com on the job. I knew nothing. But I'm not, okay, I'm not saying I'm better than anyone because of that. But, like, it's important to show who you really are. That's what they want. Who's the person I'm going to work with, you know? Skills are important, but you have those skills, and you're only going to get better. So don't worry about that. Just uh, just do it, man. A little funny story is a little bit like that is when I first got in, like I said before, they wanted me to learn C Sharp. I didn't really know much yeah. about stuff. Yeah. So I learned C Sharp. But once I got in and they told me to do something, they told me to do something in HTML. Uh-huh. And I had no idea how to do it. Like straight <laughs> up. I I had a Google I had no idea what a div was. Yeah. And I remember my first question <laughs> yeah. asking I asked my uh my boss, I said, So like what's a div? And he goes and he just looks at me and goes, You know like even just if you know an if statement or like or a loop or something like that, you should at least know no, what a div. div. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I was like, I was so confused. Yeah. And I'm like, what does it stand for? Yeah. Because I understood when I first learned PHP, I'm in PHP, wow. When I first learned HTML, the first thing that came to me was P for paragraph. Wow, like what a revelation. And then when I saw a div, I'm like, um, division? No, wait, that's not, <laughs> like, I was so confused. I don't even confused. know what it's called. I just know div. Maybe it's divider. <laughs> it's used to divide things, but yeah. That yeah maybe so like i have no idea yeah. but i remember that was that was literally my first question yeah. and i got that same kind of like blank stare of like kind of that oh my god we have a long way to go kind of thing yeah no for sure man i mean that's funny uh i remember um it's so it's when i look back i'm like when i looked back at the questions i asked my developers my first job even my current job i'm like damn i'm stupid and i'm like Dang man, if that if someone asked me that, I would have been like, uh, <laughs> like, dang, we picked this guy yeah. up, you know. But you know, and but it's yeah. funny because those people, other than my senior dev, um, those people are still there, you know. And I'm where I'm at now. It's crazy. So I knew less than everyone, even my CTO, who's not a programmer, knew more than me. Now I'm not saying I'm better, and I'm not. But I went from that level to now where I'm at now things with Amazon and then these other companies are reaching out to me from everywhere. So I went from that level. So everyone starts from the same level. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Everyone starts from the same level, but we all end up the same place depending on how hard you work. Some people, they grow, they grow, they grow and they're comfortable here. They'll stay there and that's fine. We need people like that to do a particular job. But there's some people who want to keep lowering, keep growing, keep growing. And that's the mindset I see that you have too. So yeah, man, you got this dude. But yeah, that's all good, man. You, very unfortunate. You have more experience than majority of people watching right now because most of them don't even have jobs. Not to talk and down to them, know, but you, that's, you have to think of it like you're feeling that way right now. But you have more experience than them. Who has a higher chance of getting a job if you, they all of you apply to the same place? You would, because number one, you have experience with working with other devs. You know how to work with Jira or GitHub or Bitbucket, or you're able to explain how you do things. So you know on interview questions. Now, how do you solve this problem? When did you encounter this problem? When did you encounter something you don't know? And then you answer, mm-hmm. wait, you, I go through that every day. What, can you tell me particularly what kind of thing you're trying to go through? You want me to tell you? So, you know, that experience alone is huge. So, yeah, man, just keep going, dude. You got this, man. Whenever, um, one of the things that really actually helped me a lot, what I will say, is joining the Discord. Because when I joined the Discord, it actually it you, right? allowed me. Oh my God, tremendously. Like People don't believe me. I tell them to join the Discord and no one believes me. Well, it's funny because I thought when I first joined the Discord, what would help me is I'd find experienced engineers that would be able to answer questions or at least like maybe help me get over something that I'm questioning myself in. Yeah. But I actually found the opposite effect. Yeah. So where I'm working now and I feel like I'm in a place at my job where I am definitely the person with the least knowledge, uh-huh. I came into here realizing, holy, like, it's just crazy that I actually know answers to other people's questions. Like, I actually know something. And, and you've you been studying so- code longer than you. <laughs> and but you have on-the-job so experience. Oh yeah, yeah, you gotta, you gotta. People gotta realize also. Once, because I got the job after two days. Ever since then, I've been doing forty to seventy hours a week studying this and slash implementing it yeah. in like real world applications for the past five months. Mm-hmm. You get to a, you get to a point much faster as if you were self studying. Because mm-hmm. when I self studied and I did those tutorials. 
I was, as they call it, a tutorial hell. Literally, if a tutorial didn't have what I wanted on it, I had no idea what to do. That's like, true, I would literally go from tutorial to tutorial. You were used to tutorials, but now you can you don't just depend on them. So, No, yeah. now I'm only documentation. Awesome. If you don't... Awesome. Yeah, you have to learn so documentation. Because that's what you work with on a job, like literally. Mm -hmm. That's literally what, what I will say also is one of the best things about documentation that I recommend everybody to learn how to read it and absorb what you need from it rather than doing videos in general mm -hmm. for tutorial. They're great for like getting yourself, I guess, acquainted or just if that's how your learning method is. But they got points where I've had to create APIs or I'm working on creating an API wait, 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 and I have wait, to hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm working on creating an API for my job and what I actually have to do is write my own documentation <laughs> for other people on it. And oh, no, it's oh. not like Yeah. It's not like anything advanced. It really like I know that sounds like crazy advanced, yeah. but it's more of it's, like yes, it's not that hard. Within one minute. You know, I know, yeah, you got lucky in your situation, but for you, someone mm -hmm. who's working a job as a junior freaking software freaking engineer, um, uh, any words of advice to them? I guess my best vi advice I can give is where create almost like create a story for yourself that other people will say BS to. Mm. And the reason why I bring this up is because. There are going to be so many situations where opportunities are going to come at, uh, in front of you and you're going to feel that they are impossible or long shots. Like you might even go to do a job, look at a job and it requires you to know, let's say React, C++, just random languages, a bunch, and don't think of it as like I'm brand new yeah. kind of situation. Think of it as like, this is just all this is doing me is showing me a path. It's allowing me to know where I should go and how I should spend my time studying or crafting some kind of projects that allow me to learn this better. Yeah. And that would probably be the best advice overall for myself, at least, and hopefully to others. Yeah, I like that. Dang. Dang, this is John, the life of a freaking junior software freaking engineer <laughs> in two days. For sure, man. I, and I like that. Uh, be, make, yeah, become the person where people can say BS to your story. Um, yeah, and, yeah. And I think that's it. But how can it be BS? It has to be something amazing. Meaning you have to work harder than anyone else to make that story amazing. And I like that. Dude, cool, dude. That story is just... It's insane, man. Like... It's it's insane, like how someone like him, literally similar story, and that's why I was I really wanted to talk to him because we both sucked in school, you know, and he was able to push himself, but it took him six years, I think, or seven years to get his bachelor's degree. Um, he went to four different colleges to get to to where he is, and I mean, I don't know what other reason you need to believe in yourself if you can do it or not. I mean, he did it on he did it he became an engineer and, and yeah he got lucky he did but he had that you know opportunity and he he, he took advantage of it so so if, if you feel like you can't do it man understand that you can right if you feel like you, you don't know if it'll happen to you it can it's just how bad do you really want it you know